Earlier this year, the Plaid Model S reclaimed its title as the fastest production EV to complete the Nürburgring track, posting a record time of just a bit over 7 minutes and 25 seconds. However, will the new tri-motor Lucid Air Sapphire be able to beat Tesla's time? In this video, I want to discuss the official specs that Lucid recently released and just how the Plaid Model S compares against its new tri-motor electric rival. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Production of the Lucid Air Sapphire is slated to begin in September this year, so first delivery should not be far away. Based on the specs that Lucid has released, it should be quicker than the Plaid Model S when it comes to going 0 to 60 miles per hour, 0 to 100 miles per hour, and in completing the quarter mile. So yes, there is a good chance that the Sapphire, the Lucid Air Sapphire, could beat the Model S Plaid when it comes to the Nürburgring track time. In addition, Lucid includes some hefty ceramic brakes with the vehicle, unlike the Model S which requires you to pay an extra $15,000 or an additional $20,000 for the track package, which does include the ceramic brakes as well. Nonetheless, despite being so impressive, the Lucid Air Sapphire is quite expensive, with Lucid advertising a price of $249,000 fully loaded, and that's before fees, taxes, etc. So you should expect a lot from a vehicle that costs $249,000. Now when it comes to how that compares to the competition, including not only the Model S Plaid, but also the Audi RS e-tron GT and the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, you can see that the Lucid Air Sapphire should have more EPA rated range than the competition, but it costs more than the competition. And even if you include the $20,000 track package with the Plaid Model S, it's still cheaper than the rest of the competition of comparable performance sedans. Now, when I talk about price comparisons, especially when we're talking about somewhat similar vehicles in the same class, I like to do a cost per mile of range comparison. And I've done those calculations for these vehicles here. And this calculation is pretty simple. You just take the base cost and you divide that by the EPA rated range. And you can see that the Porsche Taycan Turbo S has the highest cost per mile of range, the Audi RS e-tron number two, and the Lucid Air Sapphire number three, coming in at a whopping $583 plus per mile of range. Even if you add the $20,000 track package and the 21 inch wheel upgrade to the Plaid Model S, that vehicle's cost per mile of range is still a bit over $200 less than the Lucid Air Sapphire. If you opt for the cheaper 19 inch wheels, which give you more range, and you skip the track package, then you have a cost per mile of range with the Plaid Model S of just under $274. So with those calculations, you can see that the Plaid Model S really is still the best value among the competition. Now going back to performance and specifically track performance, Nürburgring track performance, weight does matter when it comes to driving on a track. And the Lucid Air Sapphire likely weighs in somewhere over 600 pounds more than the Model S Plaid, much in part likely due to its larger battery. And this extra 600 pounds or so, and that number is based on an estimate um, from a Motor Trend article which estimated the weight of the Lucid Air Sapphire. I don't have an official spec yet for that, but just going off of their other air additions and um, adding just a little bit of weight for the extra motor, etc. Very likely the Lucid Air Sapphire once again weighs quite a bit more than the Plaid Model S and I believe this could hurt the Lucid Air's handling just a bit when it comes to the track. And this could give the Plaid Model S an edge in track performance where weight does matter. Nonetheless, we'll have to see. Hopefully Lucid does actually take the Air Sapphire to the Nürburgring track. I'd love to see that vehicle do well. And I would even be fine with it beating the Plaid Model S because I believe that would push Tesla to further improve the Plaid Model S. And maybe even Tesla would actually end up bringing out a Plaid Plus like they talked about bringing out previously. Now beyond performance, range, cost, etc., when it comes to charging speed, that's another important comparison when it comes to electric vehicles. And the Lucid Air Sapphire should be able to charge faster than the Model S. Based on information from evdatabase.org, I've put together this chart. And as compared to their EPA rated range, I've done a calculation here of how many miles can be added per minute of charging. You can see that if you equip the Plaid Model S with the 21 inch wheels and it has 348 
miles of range, and it takes 30 minutes approximately to go from a 10% to 80% state of charge. While adding eight miles per minute of charging is still impressive, the Lucid Air slightly beats it out. However, do note that this requires a 300 kilowatt charger, which there's not as many of those available as Tesla's um, V3 250 kilowatt chargers. And despite other big brands like Ford and GM announcing that they're switching over to Tesla's NACS standard in North America, Lucid has not yet done that. So I believe the Plaid Model S is actually a more convenient vehicle when it comes to actual practical real world use because of the Tesla supercharging network. Beyond all those comparisons, when it comes to style, I personally think that the Plaid Model S looks better than the Lucid Air Sapphire. And the Plaid Model S offers a better value, offers access once again to the best charging network, and has the best technology, hands down. The Lucid Air Sapphire is an impressive vehicle, and I'm glad to have competition like this on the market. But in my personal opinion, I would much rather have the Plaid Model S when you look at the complete package of everything that you get, and once again, it's a better value. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you what you think about the Plaid Model S versus a Lucid Air Sapphire. Which vehicle would you rather own? I'd like to also say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me on Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.